So unfortunately, I didn't think about making this video until just recently because I just got a big old box from Japan with all kinds of goodies and I already opened up most of them. So uh, in the future, I will be doing these as part of reviews. Uh, I got a old school bullet train, a little doodler, a suburban train, and then whatever this thing is. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Um, some of them even have lights, so that's fun. But the real story of this video is going to be this guy, uh, which comes in the beast of a box. And as you can see, I have not opened this one up yet, but that's what we're going to take a look at today. Now this one is by Tomix. I've been kind of pretty impressed with this brand. Um, in the past, I know like Kato is going to be your big one out of Japan, but for me, I think Tomix makes a pretty solid product uh from testing out these which two of them are uh, over here the motor isn't as quiet as kato but the quality i think is is pretty good so i'm really excited about this one um it also comes pre-installed with lights so i definitely opted uh for that version uh in fact all of these came from one hobby store in japan which was having some sort of super sale uh, where i got most of these 40 percent off, uh, if not more. So hence the large purchase there. But this one, I'm not going to do a review yet because obviously I haven't even played with it yet. I'm just going to open it up and show you guys my first impressions uh, as I, you know, as I have it. <laughs> first things first is to rip off this plastic coating. If I can even do it with one hand, it's a little struggle. There we go. I wanted to get this one for a while. I believe Kato had uh, has it as well, and that's the one I've been eyeing up. But when this one popped up uh, under the super sale, I couldn't say no. So really excited. Uh, it's actually been a, quite a while since I've gotten anything new, so the fact that I got all this in one day is pretty awesome. Throw this over there. All right. So here it is, the big old box again. Weighs a good amount, probably why it cost me 50 bucks in shipping. <laughs> but no matter, because I still save money uh, when all said and done. Oh, look at that, it's plastic. That is like a Hot Wheels case, uh, like an old school Hot Wheels case. Let's see what we got. Oh, I thought it was one big box, but it's actually two of them. But uh, yeah, that is a plastic case. So first impressions, here's what we're going to take a look at. It is the complete set. It says there's nine. I thought there was 12, but I could be wrong. Uh, left one first? I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, this must be the, well, there's the end car. I was going to say this could be the add-on set, but uh, it doesn't look like it is. So let's take a peek at this guy first. There it is. Pretty cool. I love this style. I believe this is our old school original bullet trains from like the 60s. Pretty neat. It's got a got a good look. So that's the first one. Let me put it back for now. Second one. Oh, I see. It says A. So that must be what these are and then this is the other one. So there must only be 9. Thought it was a 12 setter. Oh well. Here's your paperwork. And the first four. Old school picture. The original. Nothing underneath. Actually, there's two extra holes there, and I noticed there's one extra hole here too. I don't know if this is a standard case that they use for many of their sets. Or what? Hmm. 
obviously this is the front, which looks extremely similar similar to the back. Pretty neat. If we can keep it in focus. What kind of connectors does it have? Looks like proprietary ones specific for this. A lot of these bullet trains have uh, very specific connectors. It looks like this one plugs in. It's like a plug. You can see that. It, like jams into the one behind it and it, and it plugs. So yeah, let's try to do this all in one take and get it on the track and turn it on. So if that's the front, this must be the back. We'll start there. There's one. There's two. Now this is going to be interesting how to, how to plug it in. Uh, especially with the camera. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Ah, there it goes. Look at that, it just snaps right in. Two. Two on the track. Ah, ha, ha. I feel like the count. Here's another one. Oh, I was going to say, I don't see any pantographs, but this one has them. Uh, you can see there, hopefully, it fits under my TV. Again, this is going to be hard. Can I do this? There we go. I assume these are meant to run in the reverse order that they come out of the box. <laughs> Without really looking into it more. But that's what we're going to do. What I need to do is just keep my camera there. Slide that along. Oh, this one's got some weight to it. Is this the engine? Yeah, this is the engine. So the engine was actually in that B car uh, set. Which is interesting that it's all the way back there. I'm going to hold off putting that one on for now. Usually these bullet trains from Japan seem to run in the middle, or at least the motor runs in the middle. I don't know if I like that too much. I tend to put mine a little more towards the front, because the front car doesn't usually have the, the engine, it's just a dummy. So let's see, we got three cars left, I'm going to add one more on. And then do the motor, which is right here. Pop those thingies up. Oh, this one's struggling. There it goes. All right, flip, uh, flip this down here. Let's go this way for the last two. Nope, nope. Gotta put the front on first. That way, the front will be the front. Look at that sucker glide. It's got that new train smell. There we go. There's the last guy. Connect these up right here. Snap. Snap, crackle, and pop. All right, now we just gotta slide on back, connect with the rest. It's actually fairly easy to pop these in once you know what you're doing, apparently. So, okay, on the track for the first time. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Looking good. Looking mighty good. Technically, I probably should have put this on the reverse because now it's going to go this way and around and you're not going to see it for a while. But 
Let's see what happens when we crank up the juice. Yes, sir. Now, as I said, these come with lights, and I think I saw them turn on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, it is a bit loud, but the lights look amazing. Let's see if we can find it over here. Very cool. Yeah. So I'm impressed so far. Obviously, I'll do a full review later on. But looking good out of the box. It's funny, those first two lights seem to be white when the rest are uh, like a pure white. Anyways, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, like I said, unfortunately, I didn't do these other ones. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have uh, that I just got. So stay tuned for these reviews as well as a full review of the one we just put on the track.